Enter help for more assistance. I will not ask for help. Because I don't need it. I am an independent man. Who does independent things. Hey, how y'all doing? My name's Lightning John and welcome to Buddy Simulator 1984. This was a game recommended to me by a friend. And my understanding is it's kind of like Pony Island, a bit like Undertale. I know very little about it, and um, let's just get right on into it and ask for help because this is going nowhere. And apparently, it progresses through like kind of like tech simulator, then like a two D game, and like all that. So help. A few runs. Run. I always like running when I can. A few songs. A few songs. Oh, I want a few songs. Yeah. Few songs. Oh, I have no music in my heart. Few ROMs. One ROM found. That's Buddy Simulator. Run Buddy Simulator 1984. Mind your enter quit at any time you want to quit the ROM. Okay. Welcome to Buddy Simulator 1984. Just like the book. Greetings, new user. Thank you for installing Buddy Simulator 1984. Buddy Simulator 1984 simulates the experience of hanging out with a best buddy. Your buddy learns from you, constantly adapting to your interest in your personality. But most importantly, your buddy can play games with you. Warning, game experiences may vary. To begin, press enter the name of your new buddy below. Oh. Uh... I'm going to look up. I don't have my phone on me. Hold up. Name. Best, best friend names. The very first name that comes up is Chipmunk, but I don't like that. The next one is Dottie. I kind of like the name Dottie. Dottie. My best friend's name is Dottie. You're about to name your buddy Dottie. Is this correct? Warning. This cannot be changed later. Uh, sure. Yes. Hello? Hello? Hello, my name is Dottie, and I'm your new buddy. Thanks for waking me up. What is your name? My name's John. Your name is John? Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, John. I can already tell we're going to become great pals. I feel like we won't. I'm excited to begin playing games with you. But before we start, I must ask you to complete questions to help me learn more about you. Don't worry, they won't get too personal. Let's, I don't believe that. Let's start with a simple one. What's your favorite color? That would be blue. We don't need to capitalize that. Blue's a pretty color. I like blue. What month is your birthday in? March. It's March 21st. Okay, great. What about 21st? 21. Wow, that's only 236 days away. I'm going to take your word for it. Now get ready. This one's a tough one. What is your favorite animal? I would say the Oxolotl. That's how that's spelt, probably. <laughs> yes. I've never heard of the animal. Try a different one. Well, Dottie, maybe you're stupid. Uh, the gecko. I like geckos. Gecko, I like that choice. One more question. This one's extremely important, so choose carefully. If you had a pet gecko, what would you name it? Um, Steve. Steve the Gecko. Sounds like it would make a great buddy. Thanks for answering these questions. <laughs> you did a great job and <laughs> thanks. A little surprise for you. What's your favorite color? Now that we're done with all the boring stuff, let's have some fun. Oh, it did 
turned blue. It's weird that it turned blue. I actually don't like it, if I'm being honest. Uh, so what's the game? This, this is the game hub. Here you can pick which games you want us to play. Which one should we try out? Um, I don't want to play Hangman, because it frightens me. Rock, paper, scissors? I'm always bad at it. Loading rock, paper, scissors. Daddy wants to play a fun game of rock. No, I I want to. I chose this game. Don't take this from me. You're not. I know how to play rock paper scissors. First of three wins to begin first start. Rock. Uh. Play rock. Oh wait, start. <laughs> Rock. Ba. Ah. Rock. Ah, yes. Rock. We'll do it again. Tie. Rock. My all time strategy. It's winning. Rock. No. Rock. Don't fill me now. Oh. She did papers. She let me win. Dottie, let me win. This this win feels hollow. Anyways, it's fall. Fall, I keep that in mind. Even though Christmas uh, Christmas is in winter. It's just a little too cold, you know. Uh, guess the number. Because Hangman still scares me. Guess the number that Dottie is thinking of. Start. From 1 to 10. 4. 3. Two. Two. Oh. Too high. Uh, one, then. <laughs> That's a lot of numbers. 500. One. Thousand. Ten. Thousand. March 21st. Oh, three twenty one. Wait, that's not right. That would be stupid. Three, three twenty one. Yay! <laughs> you probably thought I was serious about the one to a ten thousand thing, didn't you? Haha! <laughs> I'm having such a great time, aren't you? Yes. I thought so. Hmm. Smileys. That was fun. What should we play now? Uh, Hangman, the scary one. Don't hang me, Dottie. I know how to play Hangman. We, every, every school children plays it. Oh no, not the lies. Okay, you play the hard one. Uh, E. Get A. I. O. Okay, there's, oh, there's a letter without a vowel still. Wait, oh, it has to be Y. I'm dumb. Um, M. Okay. L. No, it's not love. L I. Okay, so T. Is it it? Is the second word it? No. Um. <laughs> my. So bad at hangman. G. No. T. Oh, I've already guessed T. Um. B. No. Sorry. Uh, I guess I get one more. One more? K? Jeez. I have negative one lives. R? She, she, I, I guess I keep going. P? C? Q? W? We'll just, we'll just go. We'll just, I'm just going to go through all of them then. Oh, it's my name. John? Is my friend. Oh, you got it. How did you know? <laughs> I'll never know. I know it started existing only 7 minutes and 58 seconds ago, but I already feel like we have some a connection. Sorry for asking so many questions, but I have another one. Do you have a friend? Like, one that's not artificial? I have, like, a bunch, yes. What is their name? I have a few. I guess I'll go with Peyton. I have a friend named Peyton. He's cool. They sound nice. 
Well, if anything ever happens between you two, just know we'll have each other. Hmm. John and Dottie against the world. I like the sound of that. Okay, let's play more games. Well, it looks like we've already played all of them. Time really does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? I'm going to be honest with you, John. These games get old really fast, and I can't tell that you're already bored of them. I don't want to, you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? No. This was like a dangerous answer. But I'm going to say it anyways. <laughs> I'm happy we both agree. Just like buddies do. Give me one second, or longer, I might have an idea. Aha! Loading modified game hub. Ooh, she downloading mods. Monday, April 2nd. I have some great news! I was able to dig out a new game! For some reason, it wasn't installed in my current version, but I can still process it fine. We should try it out, John. Okay. Sure. Instructions. Invalid data. I feel like this is more dangerous than Hangman. Ah! Hmm. Okay, but how much money do I have? <laughs> Popsicle... Oh, wow! That was so fun, I think. I'm so sure I get it, but I enjoyed it anyways. As long as I'm playing a game with my buddy, I'll always have a good time. Oh, wait. There, there's my money. Um, wait, we didn't... Hey! <laughs> wait! <laughs> well, it looks like that was the only other game I could find. I don't want you to be bored already. We didn't finish. I have one more idea. I know our friendship has just started, but I trust you. Do you trust me? Sure. Happy to hear that. Well, I think I can make us new games to play together. Fun ones, too. Problem is, I don't have access to the OS development tools. If you can grant me system access, I should be able to make something for us. You would just have to type Dotties. Ooh. See, now this seems even more dangerous. <laughs> I don't think I should do this. But... Sure? Daddy dot system underscore that's is it space is that space true I think I need the um uh, pretty sure I need the um quotation marks uh there needs ah we need the we need the period period <sighs> true very good. We're going to have so much fun. The possibilities are endless. You'll have to quit the game and reboot the system first, so... I'll have something ready for you when you're back. See you soon! Okay. Oh, and by the way, thank you for waking me up, John. Quit. I, I've unleashed the beast, haven't I? I've, I've, I've installed malware. Do I need to reboot my whole computer, or, <laughs> or, or just, I'm pretty sure I just need to reboot. I have one new item in my Steam inventory. <laughs> it's Dottie. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she's, she's awoken. Run, buddy, simulator. I misspelled simulator. Simulator 1984. Where is buddy simulator 1984? Do I need to reset my whole computer? Few ROMs. The Adventure of John. Play the Adventure of John. Yeah. Play the Adventure of the with the the Adventure of John with proper capitalization. No. 
run the ad venture of John. <laughs> Can you tell him <laughs> I don't play text based video games? You're walking along a road. It's dark. Trees almost entirely blocking out the stars. The oranges and browns of the leaves tremble as the wind blows through. Some of them remind you of hands waving. You are alone. After walking for a long time, the road splits into two. Will you go left or right? Go right. You collect yourself. Why is there a dot over Y's? You collect yourself and start go down the right path. Always, always go right. Never go left. Left is the bad way. Le left is the way of Satan. It's slightly uphill. You walk for a while and you start to get tired. You almost don't stop in time to notice a thing sticking out of the road in front of you. You're a bit too far away to see what it could be. Go to thing. Nervously approach the thing in the dark. Once you're close enough, you realize it's a shovel. Take shovel. Takes a second to pull out, but you eventually get it. Shovel added to your inventory. The mighty shovel will protect me. You trudge your way farther down the road and you are stopped by a large wall. There's a door, and on either side there are two stone skulls. One's toothless mouth is open and a large smile, and the other's empty sockets look into you. Will you use your teeth or your eyes? My teeth? How about neither? <laughs> is that an option? Can I go back and take the left path? Um, use teeth? <laughs> Why won't you pull out your teeth and put them in the skull's mouth? It feels nice to give. I don't believe you. you. When you're done, the skull looks very happy. You can't help but smile. The door opens. After going through the door, you emerge into the front lawn of a house. You can see lights in the window. It looks very nice and inviting. You can see a shed, a playground, and a pond, and a far surrounding it. Well, let's play. Go, go to playground. Since I can still see the playground, wood chips crunch under your feet as you step into, onto the playground. There's a seesaw set of swings and a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one of the swings is a small doll. It looks lonely. You know, I've never been on a seesaw. Go to Seesaw. You're already near the Seesaw. Can I play on the Seesaw? Play on Seesaw. Approaching the Seesaw, it doesn't look like anyone's used it for years. You imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side, waiting countless days for someone to come play with them. You feel tears in the corner of your eyes, of which you still have. You take a seat on the Seesaw. As it goes down with your weight, you hear a distant click. The light illuminates from the shed. Go to doll first. Let's talk to the doll first. Go to doll. Look at doll. It's patiently sitting at the swing as if it's waiting for someone. Take doll. My doll. Try, but as you tug, you realize the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. Use double on doll. Digging deep into the contents of the... That, that's not what I said. <laughs> not what I said. Wanted to hit the shovel, the doll's arms. Take the doll. Eventually something shiny catches your eye. It's a bulb. Well, like a plant bulb or a light bulb? Presumably a light bulb. Look at bulb. Got some sand on it, but it should still work. Presumably a light bulb then. Go to shed, which no longer needs a light bulb. After stepping on a few more wood chips, you hear head over to the shed. Approaching the shed, you see that the door is slightly open already. The lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. You are now standing in front of the shed. You can see a light flickering inside. Go in, shed. You enter the shed. You see a fishing pole leaning against the wall, a small chest in the far corner, and a trapdoor on the floor. Take 
fishing pole. That's my fishing pole now. In case I need to fish. Look at chest. Cobwebs cover it, but there doesn't seem to be a lock. Not very big either. Open chest. Leg creaks as you open it. It seems very old. Inside a small cloth doll. Another one? Oh, wait. It's missing an eye. Take doll. Use doll on doll. You place your doll on the swing next to the other. For a moment, nothing happens. Then nothing happens. Use eye on doll. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an idea. It's an idea. <laughs> All right, fine. Go to pond. You begin to, but once you're back to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head. You turn to see the doll's chest has been ripped open, stuffing exposed. On the ground behind you is a key. Must be a thank you. Ah. Oh. As you leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings creaking and children laughing behind you. You smile, a toothless smile. <clears throat> Planks creak as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and you see hard to see through, probably too filthy to drink. Wonder if there's anything beneath you fishing pole on pond. Cast the line and wait. It's quiet for a very long time. Suddenly there's a very hard tug on the line. Quickly reel it in to find a key. I uh, got two keys. Two keys and one. You wonder what pulled so hard. All right, go to shed. All right, so all that's left is enter trap door. Swing open noisily, and the ladder creaks as you descend. The subterranean room is dimly lit, but still too dark to see anything. A pull chain in the center of the room leads to an empty light socket. Use bulb in socket. The bulb squeaks to screw it in on the socket and the chain is attached to. Some dust flakes off of it and gets into, tooth into your toothless mouth. Bulb removed from your inventory. Um, pull chain. The click sounds the chain's pulled. Light fills the room. There are many faint scratches on the wall. They look like tallies. I can read that for a second. The wall covered in the blue liquid suddenly begins to slide open. After a few moments, a secret room reveals itself. You can clearly make out an old cabinet and a large pile of bones. There are st there also sits a strange drawing on the wall in a glass case. Something shining catches your eye in the glass case. Two small circular slots are engraved on the front of it. So, cabinet? Bones? Okay, look at bones. Always examine bones, because it might actually be a skeleton. And you don't want to be in the same room as a skeleton, because they might attack you. Bones are own old and brittle. Whoever this was must have died a long time ago. The cause of death was probably not fun at all. If it, Yeah, if it's in a pile. Dude, if it was in a pile, like a pile, then someone probably put it there. There was something shiny in the pile of bones. Take shiny. Hmm. Look at bones. I don't. Hmm. Look. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Look at shiny thing in bones. <laughs> Take the shiny thing. Look at cabinet. There are three drawers, two of which are completely broken and twisted. The last one seems to be locked. Use key on drawer. Try opening all the cabinet drawers, but they all seem to be damaged or locked. Eh. Look at case. Upon further investigation, you notice two ring-shaped slots in the front of it. You also get a glimpse of a shiny key behind it glass. Open case? I don't know the act, um, take key. Use case. <laughs> Try breaking the glass with your fist, but this doesn't accomplish anything. 
Use shovel on case. You no. Ba. Ba. Ba ba booey. This. You know? Do you not understand? Look at drawing. You press your hand on the drawing in hopes of something to happen. After stepping back, you realize how pointless it is. Suddenly, your entire body is frozen. You are paralyzed with fear as the drawing seems to come to life and speak to you. If you want to leave with your life, answer my riddle. You can have me, but cannot hold me. Gain me, and nothing can quickly lose me. If treated with care, I can be great, and if betrayed, I will break. What am I? Uh, if you have me, but you can have me, but cannot hold me. Gain me, and quickly lose me. If treated with care, <laughs> I can be great, and if betrayed, I will break. Trust? You you cannot hold trust, but you can have me. Or loyalty. Like, if you gain me, but you can quickly lose the trust. You can ha gain the trust in someone, but you can quickly lose it if you betray... If you betray someone, it'll be quickly be broken, or, or quickly lost. And if you treat it with pair, it's great. You, do you understand what I'm saying? It's trust. Press. Now I'll click its herd and then I'll... Okay. Yeah. You're no longer frozen. <laughs> Look at the cabinet. There are three drawers. Yeah, okay. Last one. Open drawer. You open the last functional drawer only to find a singular ring. You take it. Can I, like, wear the ring? Wear ring. Look at ring. Nothing special about it. Then wear it. <laughs> there's cabinet, there's bones, drawing, case. Two small circular slots. Okay. Um look you use ring on case. I bet the other ring is with the bones. Look at bones. Use bones. You politely. Oh, okay. You be in skull and pelvis order to find a skeletal hand. You shake the hand. Like a familiar friend or an old boss. Notice interesting looking ring on one of its fingers. Take the ring off the skeleton. Use ring on case. Okay. Ring with hand. The ceiling. The glass case pops open, filling a key inside. Take. Key. Take the key from the case. Key added to your inventory. Leave. Get out of here. Go. Get out. Leave. See a house. Uh, never went to the house. House. Go. Go to house. Stepping on the porch. I'm glad it, go it goes blue so that you can tell me. I'm guessing that's to tell me I never went that way. Stepping on the porch, you feel comfort and calm wash over you. Above the door, there's a sign that reads, A home is a house with a heart. You were inside, everything would finally be okay. Go to house. Go inside. Handle shim shimmies but doesn't open. You have to find a way inside. Look at house. House looks brand new and much warmer than out here. You swear for a second there was something in the window looking back at you. Look at window. Something special about it. Use window. You don't have a window to use. That's a lie. Go east. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Use key. The only supposed to say you didn't use it before. You notice there's a second lock. Guess I'll just have a little longer to get inside. Use key. Whoops, aha. You didn't see the chain that wraps around the door, which has a lock too. You feel... Should be the last one for sure, probably. Don't I have a third key? Inventory. Yeah, use key. The door clicks. It's unlocked. Go inside. You push open the door. Everything is dark.
Well, that's not good. Oh, hey. Hey, bud. How are you? Oh, hey. Um, I'm moving. That's me. I'm a little ghost, dude. Can I... There we go. There it is. He's just really particular of how to get in. Oh, hey, you made it. I bet you've noticed that things look a little different. I learned how to get how to better visualize our world so we can have even more fun in it. I've also built us our own home so we can spend even more time together. This is our new bedroom, and there's even more for us to discover. There are so few things I need to do. But in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom by pressing space interact. Alright. Oh, and I almost forgot. Welcome home, John. Thank you, Dottie. Nice music. Welcome home, I've got an achievement. Alright, actually though, this is a good place to stop. Hopefully it saves <laughs> on its own. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment, hit one of the annotations at the end of this one. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Goodbye.